Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Interstellar Transport Company. Uh, it, since you've last joined me, uh, the game has received an update, uh, which is tremendous, uh, but it also wiped out my save. So I've pretty much got myself to where I was before, only, well, I, I think I may be performing slightly better than I was previously. Uh, we've got 850,000 uh, space bucks uh, and 70 cents and 30 cents in the bank. Uh, and it is the year 2051. I think that's possibly a little optimistic. But uh, it is 2051 and we've got uh, several routes that are performing quite nicely. If, uh, if we bring up the routes menu here. Uh, uh, Earth Mars Supply is one I set up and I'll walk you through that in just a moment. Um, but then uh, Earth Lunar Direct uh, is currently pushing the uh, the 1 million mark for, for profit it's made over its lifetime. And I've got eight ships running on that. Uh, no, I haven't. I've got way less than that. Why do you think I've got eight ships? Oh, because I've, I've thrown some one-shot rockets up there in the past, uh, which I did accidentally. You missed that. Uh, it was hilarious. Um, as much as, as me getting it wrong is ever hilarious. Uh, meanwhile, uh, what we've got is our, our four main ships here. We've got uh, two passenger ships and two, uh, no, three passenger ships and one cargo ship that are currently doing the rounds. And uh, and they're all, they're all performing pretty strongly. Uh, it's now simply a case of, uh, uh, of where do we go to expand our fortunes. So be sure to stick around and watch that happen. So we kick off today's adventure by having a look at the charts, which is where we left things last time around. And uh, and you can see the AI has actually uh, they've they've not they've not started yet. Uh, meanwhile, I'm I'm raking it in uh, like you wouldn't believe. Um, and uh, and I wonder if the if the AI are going to going to turn up at all. Uh, if they don't, this is going to be quite a lonely conquest of the stars. But uh, but I, I'm pretty sure I'll win. Um, We've got two gates on uh, on Earth to service our four ships, and, uh, and one on on uh, on the Moon. Which, to be honest, I would uh, you've chosen a really daft angle to do this from, Sunshine. Uh, and one on the Moon, which is going to be two on the Moon, uh, which will help me tick things along a little better. Uh, my passenger craft are currently operating in order to uh, make as much money as possible uh, while, the, while the moon is looking for, for extra colonists. Uh, and we're, uh, we're merrily shipping goods back and forth betwixt uh, Earth and Moon. Now, I did uh, run a very short service out to Mars because there was a, a bounty to be had in the delivery of, uh, of machinery to Mars, so I fired some rockets up there. The first one made a really solid profit, uh, generating twice as much cash as the rocket itself had cost, uh, but the subsequent ones, which were, were hot on its tail, uh, actually ended up costing me money. So the, the net profit there wasn't terrific, so I, I'm not doing any more of that. Uh, that would seem to be a fool's errand, either that or it's something I, I purely purely don't understand. Uh, so Mars has got uh, pretty decent demand uh, when it goes to, uh, comes to colonists and water and food. The problem is that uh, it's generating nothing Effectively, uh, so uh, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to I'm going to stick with uh, sending passengers out there. Now I could do that as a as a one-off flight, which is which is maybe not a bad idea. Let's uh, let's call up the routes menu here. So Earth Mars supply. So from Earth. Uh, we've currently got wait for a full load on machinery, which we will uh, we, we won't wait for that because I'm going to put uh, going to put passengers on there. Um, coach class seating ticket price 192. Let's up that to 300, right? And uh, and we will. Oh well, I was going to say wait till full, but that doesn't seem to be uh, doesn't seem to be an option that I can. Uh, I can pursue, uh, and uh, and I'm gonna gonna get myself a, another sh uh, with the rockets only, basically. Uh, here we go. So we're gonna go for the uh, what do we think here? The Neptune, right? It's a one-time use, so we're not gonna worry about coming back, and uh, we'll uh, we'll fill the ship there, right? Uh, launch immediately from Earth to Mars. I'm gonna buy one initially here we go order ship uh, because I want to see what this how well this performs 
Uh, it might be that the 300 that I've charged people for their one-way ticket to Mars uh, is going to be uh, is going to be excessive. Uh, in which case, uh, the we'll uh, we'll not have any passengers, uh, and that that'll be a problem. Now, are they going to pay up front, or are they uh, they're going to cough it up afterwards? Is the ship? We have ten passengers on board, so we filled the ship. Excellent. Uh, and that's that's a good thing. Don't fly through the sun. Uh, it's an important safety tip there, little orange rocket. Don't don't fly through the sun. Just saying. Now, when it gets there, we'll get a read on how much profit it's made. Uh, the rocket itself has cost me two thousand two hundred, which you know I can afford that. But uh, let's uh, let's go easy. Um, uh, you know, we, we don't want to throw it away. And if, if it turns out that this does make a profit, I'll, I'll buy a whole bunch of rockets, fill them full of people, and, uh, and blast them off to Mars uh, to hopefully kickstart the economy there, which I can, then, uh, I can then benefit from, given that I've now got a million quid and change in the bank. Although I can't help but think that maybe that is due to the lack of competition that I currently have. Again, feeling rather like the AI hasn't bothered to show up. While we wait here, let's have a look. Yep, still no movement from the AI. There's a famine on Luna. Oh, how, how dreadful. It's creating many refugees. Well, that's good. That means my, my passenger ships may, uh, may pick people up to, uh, take them back to take them back to Earth. 2023. Now, it said that was profit. But you see, the way I see it uh, is that that did not account for the uh, the cost of the ship. So this again is not it's not worth my time blasting people by rocket, right? That that feels that feels right, doesn't it? If we could, can we get some detail on this? Uh, there's a there's a lot of details on here. Refugee fare is forty eight cents. Get over it. Uh, no, it isn't. There's a famine on Luna. Yeah, they'll they'll get over it. Don't worry about it. Um, no, I'm not getting any detail there that's, that's giving me insight. It, but it feels like uh, the cost of blasting them out there was uh, was greater than the uh, the money made, unless that was two thousand above what the ship cost. And of course, because I'm running other services, unless I were to go effectively frame by frame on this uh, with a spreadsheet in hand, there's no way of actually tracking it. But it feels like I was losing money. But I do want to take more people to Mars. Although it does have a decent population. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to be altruistic. Let's, uh, let's build ourselves a local office. I can afford that. Uh, and, then, uh, and then while we're at it, give me a... I want to... A machinery factory, uh, di a dilithium refinery. Is it producing any dilithium? No. Actually, I've got money. Let's let's find somewhere that where I can plonk down a dilithium mine. Uh, no spaceport, so we've got no idea. Unless we can get an early read, just by just by scanning the planets here. Uh, the disaster that's happening on Luna at the moment is uh, is not really my concern. Europa has got dilithium. Right. Okay, I'm going to... There's a famine on Mars, which is also creating refugees. Ah, oh, for the love of pity's sake. I mean, you know, there's, there's only so much I can do, people. Uh, right, we're going to buy... We're going to subsidise this colony for 350 grand. I can afford it. I'm going to do it. Uh, spaceport gates... And you know what else? I'm, I think I might, uh, I might pay f to have a, uh, a, a, a monopoly here. Right, upgrade the spaceport. Yep, s spend the money on that. Come here. Look, will you s sit in the middle of my screen? Would you? Uh, let's do it again. Uh, Europa now has a population of 150,000. I'm not entirely sure where they came from, um, but hey ho. Right, good. Right, I'm buying both of these. They won't allow me to. Uh, I want a, I, I want a monopoly. Gosh darn it! We'll get on it. We'll get the, uh, we'll get the office in place, and then I will subsidise a dilithium crystal mine. Yeah, see, yeah, that's that's the stuff. No idea what I'm looking at here. 
Now this is a this is an expensive punt uh, on my part, um, and then we'll uh, we'll also subsidise a dilithium uh, a dilithium fuel shebang uh, over here on Mars, uh, a refinery because there's there's the workers there to actually make that uh, happen. Now, there's no water; it needs water. I was pretty sure there was water on on uh, on Europa. You see, oh, there's an oversight already, isn't it? Uh, are you producing water? No, you you need water. Oh, knickers. Uh, how about you? What are you what are you doing for water? Seventeen percent, um, Callisto. What about you? Twenty eight percent on Ganymede. I mean, it means subsidising another another colony effort thing there. All right, we could ship water from uh, from Earth, and then dilithium from uh, from Europa. All right, let's uh, let's do this. This is this is going to not pay off for some time. So we're going to go from Europa and stop Europa, uh, where we will uh, edit cargo, pick off all the uh, but the uh, being, what's what's that? That's dilithium fuel. That's dilithium crystals. Right. Uh, wait for a full load, uh, and uh, and we'll store all of it. Probably. What does that mean? No idea. I think storing all of it might be the way to go. And then uh, we'll head to Mars. Add that. And once we're on Mars, we shall wait for dilithium fuel. That said, who actually wants dilithium fuel? If anybody, it's going to be it's going to be Earth, right? We'll we'll go back empty for the time being. Uh, no, 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 we won't. Not if we can avoid it. Uh, right, Europa. What are you actually producing here? You're producing rare resources in abundance and raw materials, and uh, a, a, the smallest smidge of dilithium. Okay. All right, well, that's that's something. All right, I'm going to put a ship on that route now. Uh, purchase a new ship. What have we got available? The space bus here. 28,000 with a 25 capacity. Uh, or we can go for the, uh, the the super space bus, which has got 50 capacity. That's the, that's the business, isn't it? Um, but you have to be spaceport level 3 in order to make use of it. Uh, or we can go with the Doing here. Um... 40 capacity. I think we'll I think we'll go simple to start with. Uh, liquid storage. What are you, what's the liquid in question? Dilithium fuel. Dry hopper takes raw materials. Right. Fill her up. You can go on the uh, the Europa Mars transfer. Launch it immediately. Off you. Oh, hold on. Never mind. Yeah, that's fine. I did order that right. Ships. Oh, there's menus everywhere. Uh, let's hit back on this. Show me my ships. There we are. Ship 16. There we go. So that was that's that's going to be uh, uh, ferrying some dilithium out to Mars. Now that's in itself is absolutely no use to anybody at all. We're going to uh, go and check that Earth has uh, a level three uh, bay, and then well, actually, upgrading uh, upgrading Mars to level three is uh, is going to be a costly process. I would have thought. What uh, what level are we at right now? Two, right? I've pressed the button twice. Spaceport gate. Do we know? Upgrade spaceport to. I don't know. Uh, company reputation, dilithium availability. Oh, speak to me here. Tell me, tell me what you have. Uh, tell me what you have going on. Spaceport gates, but it says spaceport size. I'm going to upgrade it again. Right, and then once more. That should be big enough. I, I, I flip and hope it's big enough because what I want to do is I'm going to get a beast uh, flying from uh, from home, flying from Earth, uh, if I can find it again, which is which I can, obviously, because you know I'm professional. Um, routes, uh, Earth, Mars, supply. Okay, so from Earth, currently it's doing machinery, water, ticket prices frenetically expensive um, I might put one of those in service as well let's do one thing at a time man 
Uh, right, let's get a let's get a big boy here. Let's uh, let's get the 520 and uh, and fill it full of liquid storage. Uh, and you can go from Earth to Mars. Launch that immediately. Because that way it should it should pay the big bucks upon arrival in Mars, hopefully leading to a situation where there is uh, uh, sufficient um, uh, water remaining to actually do something with my dilithium crystals. Uh, we'll send Scotty down there to go and give him a stir with a very large stick once in a while. Uh, now it doesn't use any dilithium fuel. Uh, and, uh, and that, I presume, is because we do not yet have uh, ships that are capa capable of, uh, of interstellar flight. That would be my, uh, that, my, my expectation. Here goes, the, here goes my first ship there. We'll keep tabs on that. Uh, let's, uh, can, I, can I give this some kind of a name? I'm clicking on that. Doesn't appear to want to... Oh, hold on, what have I just done? I've just bought another one. Oh, that's good. Uh, sell it. There we go. Right, what's this button do? We can go look at it. Let's go look at it. All right, uh, close that. There it is. Uh, and then, give it a, I want to give it a, 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 oh, I see, that brings up the list. That's not actually the edit button. All right, so what is the edit button? Stop pressing the edit button. That isn't an edit button. I want to give it a fun name. Can I do it here? Yes. Right. Thank you. Uh, ship 16. This is the uh, the bold um, uh, dilithium. Dilithium. Um, I'm not entirely convinced I've spelt that right, you know. Uh, what have we got? Are you going to tall tip me at all, ever? Dilithium. Yeah, it just looks wrong in capitals. The Bold Dilithium uh, Transit Van. Save. Which doesn't really fit into the menu there, but, uh, but hey-ho, right. Uh, so that's, that's off and rolling. There's still a famine on Luna. I'm not taking them any food. It's not profitable enough. Um, you know, if the Luna colony fails, so be it. Uh, right, now, I've got 7 of 20 Dilithium on board so far. He's going to be waiting there for a little while, I think. Uh, how is uh, the... Uh, uh, this is going to be the Martian... Hold on. Martian uh, swimming pool. Given the amount of water it is currently uh, aiming to transport. Right, okay, so that's loading right now. Uh, we can see it's got it's got zero on there at the moment. Let's uh, keep hitting the refresh button until something happens, or we crash the game. Whichever comes first. Any takers? Fifty of fifty. Excellent. Right. So that should maybe theoretically uh, pay off quite nicely when it arrives. And if I can build up a, a surplus of water over there on Mars, then uh, then there is the high possibility that whatever dilithium I am able to transport. Uh, can be uh, can be turned into dilithium uh, fuel, which I am certain there will be a uh, a massive demand for in the future. Right. I'm also while I'm here, we're going to uh, we're going to get ourselves a uh, a new uh, a new passenger ship. Let's go with a forty. Uh, we'll go with coach class, given that I'm charging an absolute bundle for it, uh, and we'll we'll order you as well. Make it so. Uh, anybody who wishes to have high times on Mars, I've got a ship for you to fly on. Yes, you will be traveling in a cargo container, but don't let that put you off. You can pay for your tickets at the front desk. So right now I'm, uh, I'm basically bankrolling my expansion um, uh, in the hope that I manage to build up some form of, uh, of coherent or effective um, uh, whatever the word is I'm looking for, uh, transit, uh, tra transport, network, fuel system, transportation uh, between Europa and Mars. Uh, if I were to pull that off, then uh, uh, then we'd be quite uh, we'd be quite flush as far as cash is concerned. And the AI still hasn't turned up. This to me says the AI is not working in this game. 
don't make me start it again. I, I mean, I want some competition. Not least of all because they'll go to other planets and set stuff up for me. Maybe if I whiz it forward by a bit. Maybe maybe 2054 will be the year that the AI goes, Hey, lads, we could, you know, we could make some bucks out of this, uh, this behavior. Uh, meanwhile, in the news here, there's a, it, the refugee crisis continues. I wonder if it's because nobody is uh, is supplying them with food. Ha! Huh. What's the uh, what's the food supply situation on Earth like? Okay, right. Well, you know what? I'm I'm uh, I'm going to give this a go. Let's get one of those. Let's buy a. You know what? That big lad hasn't got a landing place on Mars, I don't think. I'll know in short order whether that's the case. Uh, so you take your eye off off one thing very briefly there, and it all goes uh, all goes to pot. So food, consumer goods, and refugees. Right. Well, we can we can pack uh, consumer goods on the way out, and then refugees on the way back. Uh, this this sounds to me like it's going to be a going to be a profit profit margin. Uh, 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 winner. Okay, right. Where are we up to? Let's uh, show me show me a spaceship in flight here somewhere. As, as luck would have it, the swimming pool is turning up. That's its maintenance cost. They're both doing the dance of trying to land. Ship nineteen is in transit. And then uh, the Martian swimming pool here is also in transit. And what we want to see is uh, these profit figures turn into something glamorous. Why are they? Why are they just doing a little dance and not actually landing? Come on, you've got a landing pad. I don't need you orbiting the place. I need you landed. Get in there. Come on. Come on. Let's upgrade the spaceport again. Why not? Come on, fellas. I know the, the view in, in orbit around Mars is, is beautiful. But uh, anyway, the local authorities won't let me upgrade the space. Uh, buy another gate. And what's their problem with gate one? Let's upgrade it again. What the heck? Let's do it. In your own time. Oh, and the water subsidy on Mars is finished. So the, the massive payday that I could have potentially got because of the subsidy, um, uh, that I'm not going to get. Famine on Mercury. Famine on Luna. I, I can't help but think this might be because I'm not supplying anybody with any food. And with the AI not around to, uh, to, to help me with that, maybe that's, a, maybe that's not a good thing. Why, why are you two jokers just flying around? I mean, look, we're, we're still making money, but I did not I did not hire you to just do, uh, uh, you know, endless uh, endless laps in orbit. When I slow it down, it will uh, it will respond more favorably. Let's upgrade the spaceport again. Let's keep upgrading the spaceport until something happens. I got the money. There we are. Right, look, how about that? How do you feel about that? Do you feel like landing now? Either of you? Either of you feel like coming in for it? Because it says you're in, in transit, but I don't I don't really buy that. I think you're uh, you're you're taking the Michael. Look, I've upgraded this thing. Get on with it. Right, can I give them some other orders? Uh, what are you? You're the swimming pool. Right, go on that route. I don't think that did anything. I think I just brought the routes up. Active, remove, stop, Mars. What do you want to do when you get to Mars? You want to unload absolutely everything. Uh, unload all. Oh yeah, that might help. Yeah, that was a that was an error that I made there. I'm gonna upgrade this once more, but I'm not made of money. One of you land. 
stop playing chicken with one another. Well, uh, upgrade me office at the same time. I've decided that I'm going to become a Martian colonist. Well, there we go. Uh, that will... Uh, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, because I clearly need to push a few more buttons. What I think's happened here is that the game has become just a smidge confused. Uh, and that neither of these ships can actually get into land in the slightest. Uh, for reasons best known to their own internal transit computers. Let's not forget, this is a uh, an early access game, and I've got it before it's even launched in early access, and therefore there may just be some oddity going on here. Uh, I'm sure it will be resolved. What I'm going to do is uh, I'll probably restart the game because, again, the AI hasn't kicked off, and that's you know that's a bit disappointing. I'd, I'd hoped to be able to stick it at the competition, but they don't seem to be interested in competing. Um, I'll, I'll kick it off again, and, uh, and we'll get this to the point where the magic will happen. Uh, stick around for another episode. Uh, by hitting the subscribe button, you will receive some manner of notification when another episode occurs. Uh, and, uh, and in the process, if, uh, if you had a rare old time today, hit the like button. And, uh, and if you didn't have a rare old time, eh, don't hit the like button. It's not mandatory uh, by any means. I, you know, it's just a, a decent thing to do. Anyway, I've been Colonel Failure. I'll catch up with you very soon. Thank you for watching. Cheerio. Cheerio.